Hey team, welcome to another episode of Staunch Pirate Productions. Today you're joining us up at a tributary of the Murray River. One of the many creeks that run along the Murray. But I said it was a nice little campsite set up. Take you for a quick walk around. A few new uh, additions to the setup. Probably hear a bit of carry on in there. That's afternoon tea. As always, Sarah having a snooze. And looks like Miranda's having a snooze as well. Well, everyone's having an afternoon snooze. I might have some afternoon tea and get those yabbies on. Might put them in the um, fridge. Put them to sleep while I'm up and have a bit of a feed. Fishing was pretty um, pretty good this afternoon. We had a good bite there about lunchtime, but it's gone a bit quiet now. Might put some lines in again a bit later, but looks like yabbies are going to be the story of this trip. And we found a really good yabby bank a little bit further down creek, down that way. Um, so I'm going to few, move a few of the nets and see if we can't get a good haul overnight. Better size down that way as well, which is cool. Anyway, I'll get back to you a bit later when I'm cooking up these yabs. Yeah, I think it's quite big. Oi. Yeah, not small. Oh, that was a good tail. Yeah, it's massive. Just gotta keep him out of his rage. Yeah. Oh, he's just snags down there. It looks very snaggy. There he is. Yeah, he's pretty decent. Yeah, that's small. Definitely not what I was thinking it was going to be. It's amazing how they like, come in so shallow. Yeah. But you wouldn't even know they were there sometimes. Ah, got him. Yeah, it's not small. Look at the tail on them. Yeah. Oh, they can be so hard, eh? Miranda! Not bad. He first. really like, swallowed that, didn't he? Yeah, first fish for the trip. Look at the tail on them. They're just like... I wish they weren't such disgusting fish. <laughs> they are pretty <laughs> gross. <laughs> They're such good sport. Oh well, I suppose we better whack this one on the head and get another bait out there. Not bad for the first fish of the trip. I only just put this bait back in.
What bait have you got on? Ah, uh, it's a little shrimp. One's not as big, but still quite lively. Did you put it in the same spot? Yep. Another little sicko. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I literally just put that bait back in. Guess the uh, fish are coming on the chew. Hmm. No time for snacks. We were trying to be on the chew. <laughs> well, the water seems to be coming up now, doesn't it? Well, I just watched behind us. It came in about 10 centimetres in such a short time. Yeah, well, I don't know, they reckon when the water's rising, the fish come on the tree, so. Yeah, there you go. Looks like we're on. Might have to get your rod in there too, eh? Yeah. Hey, little mate. You can come with nice bluey. So clean in the river. Get those damn yabbies and they can be quite dirty. But with all the um, flow through here, these yabbies are really clean. Fella go. He'd be a good cod bait. Alright, no fish but bulk yabbies. Looking good. Looking good. Nearly done. Just waiting for him to go red all the way through. That's pretty close. Probably only need another 30 seconds. Alright, our yabbies are cooked, peeled. Then uh, rinse the towels in water and vinegar. Bit of seasoning. Delicious, can't beat it. One of the best things coming up the river is when you can get a good feed of yabbies. Now we know where there's a good bank of them. I'll be getting a few more for tomorrow, I reckon. All right, back to afternoon tea. Catch you later. That nearly wraps up another day. Lots of carp, lots and lots of yabbies. There's literally yabbies everywhere. You can't put a bait down at the moment without a yabby getting on it. So I've changed the rigs a little bit and put, put out like a bit of a um, modified paternoster just with the single hook, just to get the baits up off the bottom a little bit, which means um, decrease the likelihood of catching a carp but increase the likelihood of catching a native. Since doing that, everything's gone a bit quiet, but that's cool. Be cool to um, hopefully get a native later on. Sun's nearly down on its way anyway, which means nearly time for dinner. It's a bit of um, hardcore chess going on up the back here. I'll let you try and work out which color I am. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I did just take your night, but. Oh. <laughs> I better get back to it. Miranda's flat out, literally. <laughs> Keep watching those rods and maybe we'll get some native nibble soon. All right, see you later. Righto, time to pull the nets. See what we've got left them in overnight. Alright, a couple in there. This net's got mostly smaller yabbies and a few shrimps and a little carp. I reckon these will all go back and I'll probably move this net later. Because this bank seems to have a lot of smaller yabs. These guys are a bit small. That should go. See you later, mate. Go, go, go. Let those little guys go free and we'll go check the other nets. This bank seems to be um, a lot of smaller yabbies, but further up the creek where we've got the other nets, some bigger ones, so let's go check those now. Right, our expectations are high for this net. Um, I pulled this one last night and got half a dozen really good yabbies out of it. Including this guy. So I'm hoping it's choppers this morning, so. Oh. That's what we want. Have a look at that. You're even still hanging on the outside. Mostly small ones though. A couple of better ones there. Yeah? Alright. Not bad. Not bad. I'm going to sort through these guys, chuck all the little ones back and keep a few better ones. I reckon we might be on here. Yep, that's about we're on. Keep him out of those reeds. Not a bad little fish.
car around there. Might need to try and get him out of the weeds. Sorry. Tighten up your drag if you have to. See a big one. This might be the big dog. Go hand on the spool if you need to as well when you lift up just to start bringing him in. I reckon this will be the big dog. Did you take the rod from the other side and cast it in? Yeah. He must have taken that straight away. It's not the big one, but it's the bigger Still one. Still a good one. Oh, I felt him bite it. Yeah, I was holding the rod. Is this a lunchtime bite like yesterday? <laughs> Come on, you're not that big. Oh, he's not small. <laughs> you might be better off to walk around. Yeah. Not in the snags. Okay, yeah, try and lead him over here. Well, you got a big barrow. It's like a shark coming in there. <laughs> Got him. Not small. No. That was that uh, my second class of the trip. Not bad. First one I got a yabby. <laughs> Not bad. So we could hear a whole heap of um, carry-on over at our dead carp graveyard where we've been putting all our carp. Turns out there's a big monitor or goanna over here. It's not fully grown, but there he is.
She wow herself. Come on, mate. This time. Here you come. Come on. Another carp. There are tons of them here. Tons and tons. Keeper. Keeper. I'm not sure. Keeper. He disagrees. <laughs> Gone back to that one. Here's another keeper. Where's the random shrimp just shrimping around in there? <laughs> keeper. You're not letting go. Okay. Keep up. He can probably go back. He looked bigger late, like earlier when we didn't have the big dogs. Yeah. He's not keen. No, he he's not. He heard me say keeper and he's yeah. like... You got one claw off. They're pretty lucky. This guy just wants to fight me. So. I know. <laughs> All right, feed time. All right, time for afternoon tea. These are the yabs that. Uh, cooked, peeled, and rinsed this morning. Been sitting in the fridge. That's really good. Hopefully we get a few more this afternoon and tonight because delicious. <laughs> Righto, these nets have been soaking all night. I'm hoping they're going to be chockers full of yabbies. So, let's get them in and have a look. Alright, first one. How are we looking? Not bad. A couple of little fellas. A few shrimp. A 
hopefully this one's chockers. Let's have a look. Here we go. That's it there. A couple of good ones in there. Hey, yep. Not bad. Not bad. Have a look. You can come with me. You can, oh, there's another female. She's got to go back with eggs. Oh, what about this guy's a bit small? I'll take you, thanks, mate. I reckon the rest can all crawl their way back. All a bit small. March. You're not going to get far, mate. You're all tangled up. Righto, we're all packed up. What'd you think of the campsite, Miranda? Any good? Yeah, not bad, not bad. <laughs> that was an awesome couple of nights up the river. Camping, fishing and yabbies. Not many, well, no natives this time, again. Heaps of carp and bulk yabbies. There's just yabbies everywhere. I went for a swim and even just, literally just down here, going for a quick swim last night. I got bitten by a couple of yabbies and every bait we put in the water ended up getting a yabby on it. But um, no, a really cool spot. In a big river, red gum forest here, so heaps of shade. Really nice spot. Need that shade on a day like today. It's late 30s, pushing 40. But yeah, there's campsites all up and down the creek, which we'll go check out and see if there's any ones that we might want to come to later. But until then, we'll catch you next time. Cheers.